Well, hello there. You know what time it is. It's time to get these new names before we get popping with today's part of Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3. I definitely meant to do this last time, so my bad about that. Do not worry, however, there's plenty of maps to go around for Act 4. The most in the entire game, despite the two that we've already done, so you will get plenty of screen time, I assure you. Now, we got names 1 through 21 for dudes. Let's see it. First up, number 7. That's going to be Void. All right. One more. And we got number one, which is going to be Steven. So, Steven and Void, welcome to the team. I'm going to go all the way down here. 22 to 30. All right, let's see what we got. 22, in fact. So, Dynamite. Yes, I love punny names. Great, so we have Dynamite as one of our two ladies. And we have Shima. Oh, man, now I just want a marksman. <laughs> Shima the Sniper returns. All right, let's just get into it now. This next map is a bastard. Oh, yes. I have no doubt that we'll very quickly figure out why. Uh, I just... <laughs> I just don't know, man. I just don't know. My G is going to start where he starts. So let's put dynamite. And... Steven over here. Then we can do void. I know we just saw Shima. Shima the goat. She can stand over here next to void. And uh, here's the hoping, really. <laughs> This is going to depend on a lot. Well, I say that. It's probably... I, I actually don't want to make any kind of predictions. I really don't. It could be... It could be easy. It could be difficult. It just really depends. Now, I did buy Sleep 2 for Dynamite. Because status control on this map is going to be the key, I already know. Because, well, there's a million of them, as you see. That's problem number one. This river's deeper than I thought. Must be careful. I'll get back to that in a second. But I, I really wanted to say it's... It feels to me like they definitely ran out of budget or time or something around Act 4 because as you'll notice, the story sequences are getting shorter and shorter and shorter. There's still some points in the story where, you know, there's a good bit of dialogue and whatnot, but it's not its not nearly like it was before. This guy has neutral with us, so we should be able to kill him. It's not nearly the same way it was before, though. I feel like the story in this part of the game is very, very sparse. And it makes me kind of wonder if there wasn't some kind of time constraint or behind-the-scenes stuff going on. where Because it almost feels like the story's sort of not finished for Act 4. I won't lie. Because, I mean, look at this. Well, I mean, look at all of this, right? The 11 chocobos that we're fighting. But, I mean, look at this. This is just a random battle. It has nothing to do with anything, really. And we only got a single line of dialogue to introduce it. Now, here's... <laughs> here's problem number one. The Stark Chocobo right there. It's 156, that's a ton of damage to us right there. The reason he is such a problem is because he has a map attack that targets all enemies. Why does that matter? Well, this map attack has the ability to revive any and all fallen enemies. Every single one brings them back to full, I believe. It might just be to half, but still, it can revive them all. I do not remember if it's instant or not, but that does not really matter. What that means for us is that killing these enemies outright is essentially a moot point until we can defeat the Dark Jogobo. If we can't defeat him, then there's just, there's no point because he can just bring them all back. Of course, killing them where we can doesn't hurt, but it's, it's good to keep in mind that just because you've killed a certain number of enemies does not necessarily mean that you are in the clear, which is exactly why we have Dynamite. Now, I almost wish I would have put her on the left-hand side with a... Uh, with Shima, because as you can see, there's a billion and a half. Hold on. Basically, they're all congregating over here, though, so if I got, like, a sleep on this guy or something, that could be potentially five sleeps. I'm pretty sure the boss is immune to everything, but if I fail, I guess I can try to move her over there. We'll see. On the other hand, Shima should be able to heal up Void and keep him alive. That's kind of what I'm hoping for right here. Now, Cancer Sagittarius. Relatively decent faith, but how do they do against Virgos? I did buy Sleep 2 for her. Bad and neutral. Hmm, could be better. Could be better. The other thing is that these guys, most of them, or at least many of them, have Chocobo Asuna. I think that the Greens do. In fact, I think that they mostly do. In fact, it looks like just about all of them do naturally, so... Of course, of course, of course. Nah, hmm, man, I can't... I can't charge there. I can't charge there. This is pretty unfortunate. 
Yeah, it looks like my positioning could have used some work. My G starting where he starts is not very good. I wish he would have started anywhere else, to be honest. But that's fine. That's fine. We can just do like that. I definitely want to catch Regina with this, though. I know... Not Regina, I'm sorry. I want to catch Dynamite with that, for sure. Without any doubt. Gotta move in a little bit if I want to try and hit both of these guys. And I definitely do want to try and hit both of these guys. If we can disable these, uh, these Chocobos, that's way better. And I cast Life Song immediately, and also gave Steven a hell of a lot of speed boosting crap, because I want Life Songs to go off as much as possible. ASAP. Now what is this guy gonna do? Really? The Fool? Why? What a strange move. Chocobo Guard, what is that? Shell Protect. Shell. Hmm. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen that. Wow. Did those guys have monster skill or something? Because that seems like that's a hidden ability. Now, I imagine that they're actually going to attack. Yes, they do. Good. That's what we needed. Because Void is technically dead to that Dark Holy until I run up on him and use a Murasame. Now, that Black Shokubo running right into range for this Sleep 2 is really nice for me. Although, the two that got shelled are going to have a better chance of dodging me here. Why are they all bad with Regina? Not Regina. Di Why are they all bad with Dynamite, man? That's awful luck. <laughs> that couldn't be much worse, in fact. I absolutely need to heal. Yeah, I absolutely need to heal Void. Have to. Have to. There's no other play. I need him to stay alive. At which point, he can probably drop another one of the Chocobos. I can haste Regina as we do. And we definitely want her hasted above all else. Because that's going to mean more status for us, potentially. I'm not entirely sure how much, if at all, Shell will be affecting the sleep hit rates, but I think it does. I, I really can't remember if that's how it works in this game. I know in some Final Fantasies it does, and some it does not. But I would, I would assume that it does, perhaps, reduce the accuracy of these kind of moves. Let's see if we can't land a few of them, though. I went for sleep over anything else because it's the most accurate. And with us having awful compatibility with these guys, that should help us out quite a bit. We got two of them. That's good. The Black Chocobo can't do a whole lot. Not particularly. Uh, it might be time to start heading over to the right, I want to say. Yeah, that seems to make sense to me. This life song, it keeps going off, man. It's so good. A very underrated ability. It basically cancels one of their attacks every time it goes off. Which is just so necessary. It's just absolutely necessary here. Oh no, not the Chocobo Star. Well, that's probably game right there. Unless we happen to attack. Steel Why did it have a... What? <laughs> did anybody see a steel weapon not have a 0%? Did anybody else see it have a hit rate? Why? I'm so lost. Huh. I'm so tempted to try and go for another, but... If on a neutral hit we only have 62, then it's not looking so good for me. Basically. And this guy got shelled. Yeah, that guy got shelled as well, so I think that we want to push right at this point. That seems to be the best bet. Yurtel getting confused really, really sucks, actually. Anything else would have been better. Anything else at all. Hopefully they just break it on him, but I, I don't think that the AI will. And that's my biggest beef right now. Now, if they did break the confusion, we would actually be fairly well off, because again, he can drop people. And if he's, if he's in the middle of that group right there, and uh, they can kill him with a physical attack, they will go for it, and I gave him a Mito, which is what I would like to bait here, but, hmm, I just don't know, man, I really just don't know, 189, that's so much damage, that's <laughs> so much damage, and I'm pretty sure that they can get this one off, because I do not have Earth Glows on Shima, I can't have Earth Glows on Shima, not really, not without changing her out of a Samurai, Although Auto Potion may keep us alive, I guess we're going to find out. I just wonder if that'll be enough. That's my big fear. What will the Red Chocobo do? I mean, they're moving fairly close to me. If we keep getting Auto Potion, she may survive. 
but they keep moving close to me, and if Regina gets her next move, I, I keep saying Regina. It'll take me like a, it'll take me like a part or two. I'll get it, don't worry. But if Dynamite gets her next move, then I can get a very, very game-changing sleep. Potentially. They're also gonna have my G haste himself. Steven's gonna head on over this way. It, it doesn't really matter like that. We're just trying to kite those guys on the left at this point, basically. The Black Chocobo has to spend at least two turns bringing all of those dudes back, so I'm not really worried about it. It's gonna be it's gonna be a while, basically. Now, I wish there was some kind of song that would clear status effects, because I would have switched over to that without a doubt. Now let's see. Will he go for the Asuna, or will he do something else? He's gonna bring back the red one, who then may bring back the green one, but as long as we can outrun them for a little bit, we should be okay. Oh man, Yurchel getting confused is possibly the worst outcome, period. It would have almost been better if he had died straight up, because at least in that case, I could have just revived him for some Himitos. Potentially, potentially. Well, on the plus side... And the plus side, I could honestly go for like a like a draw out right here and do a lot of damage to these three. I would need a second to actually get the kill. What kind of compatibilities do we have? Cancer, so that's nothing special. Cancer, cancer. W why? Why are they all the same compatibility? Is there anybody? They're all cancers. Every single one. I don't think the cancer is necessarily bad with Scorpio, is it? Because if it is, that would, that would suck, honestly. It's actually good. Oh! Oh, it's actually good compatibility. This guy will die. That guy's dead. Oh, this is actually perfect. Here I was complaining, but no, no, no. This couldn't be better. This literally could not be better. So, you to here. Draw out with Heaven's Cloud. And that should honestly kill the Black Chocobo to her left. Alright, Shima. Get him. Yup. And we got two slows. Oh, shoot. And all that damage on the Dark Chocobo as well. Sweet. Now, if we get an auto potion right here, that in combination with Life Song is going to be like 150 points of healing. So, that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we're still in this. We're still in this. And Yurgil's not dead. He's just... He's just confused. I thought I gave him... I thought I gave him item, but clearly I did not. Thinking about it. Oh, I didn't even give him Hamido. Oh, I, I think I reloaded. Yeah, I reloaded. That's my own fault. Yeah, that, that's, that could be better. Like I say, the Dark Chocobo cannot be hit with status. I may, in all honesty, be able to kill the dang old white Chocobo, though. That's what I really need. I really need to be able to kill the white one. I think. Virgo to Cancer is fine. So I should be able to do that, in fact. And then Void in my G. It'd be really cool if Void wanted to randomly go for an attack, but I'm not counting on it. Yeah, Void plus my G may be good for a kill here. Uh, not Void. Uh, Dynamite is good for a kill, and my G may be also good for a kill. Though, is what I'm trying to say. I'm expecting a Choco Cure, though, actually. No. No Choco Cure at all. And my god, Shima! Every time with the auto potion. This is so much more like it. So much more like it. Please attack. Attack. Throw or do something. He's actually going to throw, isn't he? Yes, he is. Oh, boy, you beast. I'm sorry. I thought he was confused. I thought he didn't know what he was doing. Turns out he's a genius. Now. I still need to kill that dark jungle, though. 100%. He has to be the next to die. And we still have enough for exactly one more... A uh, disabling spell of some kind, which is perfect. Just about perfect. Now, my G's never getting this holy, but he may get a spirit surge before anything crazy. Depending on my target here. Who's Patane? You? There's just so many enemies, it's hard to keep track of these guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I actually don't even see him. Are you just pulling my leg? Is there even an enemy by that name? I feel like they're just adding random crap to the list just to throw me off. Oh, it's this guy. Well, just a simple yellow Chocobo is basically the least threatening thing I've ever seen, so... 
There's always that. I could haste. I could haste good old Shima here. I'm actually very tempted to do that. I will. I will haste Shima. Granted, that could be a haste for the yellow Chocobo, but again, he's a yellow Chocobo. What is he going to do? He's the least threatening thing I've ever seen. And if I can get some more draws, that would be way better. Yeah, please, heal me up with auto potion. Why don't you? Look at that. How dumb can you be? My only fear here is that now we're going to see that nasty revive everything instantly and destroy you spell. And I also don't think I can afford to stop singing Life Song just yet. That's the other problem here. Although if I wanted to, I mean, I could catch this haste trade. It's not like the green chocobo can do anything to me. I will catch the haste train so that that way I can theoretically switch on my song if need be. Because we are getting a little bit low on MP. That's my only concern here. But we do actually land the haste on Shima. Here comes the next life song. He has damage split anyway, so he's probably okay. And if Void would snap out of confusion, this is like Pokemon, I swear to God. <laughs> they will never, ever, ever snap out of confusion. In that game, it's like five turns is the max. Well, guess what? Five turns every time. Same thing with Final Fantasy, or so it feels. It's not random, though. He, like, it's a it's a timer. I just, I don't know how long it is. I would think that it would be expiring very soon, though. Now, if I could somehow catch this guy in the middle of a charging, that'd be great. Auto potion. Yes! <laughs> she was so good. She should be coming up very soon. I can't see this guy. Well, he. Mm, I was gonna say, I can't really see him going for a Quakers. Because. Because he would be hitting two of his own guys. Shima's unbeatable. Like, okay, I know I've been complaining about reactions a little bit from time to time, but. This is the opposite. This is like unrealistically good luck with them. We definitely take those. It may be time to go for the kill shot. In all honesty. Maybe getting the haste wasn't the right move, because now I have to risk knocking myself off. But if I kill the if I kill the Dark Jokobo, we can wrap this up. Especially if this asshole wants to... Ugh. Confusion is a terrible status. Alright, let's go for two sleeps, I guess. That's probably our best move. Because I can throw it right here. Shima will have time to move out of the way. We can't hit the boss, but that's 75 on you. Are we, like, neutral, or what's what's the deal? Leo to... I think we should be neutral and neutral. Correct? I hope. <laughs> I really hope. Leo has to be neutral. There's no way it would be 75 if not, but you. Neutral. Okay. And he has good faith as well. So, yeah. There's a good chance that we disable two of these guys right now. And I do not believe I have the guts to, like... No. I mean, I can attack him, but I... I will not. I absolutely will not be going for a draw because it will kill Steven. So we miss. We eat that head on. That might not have been a good move. <laughs> oh well. Let's see what we get right here. At least one would be good. Good night. Alright, sweet. Couldn't be any better. Void, come on, man. <laughs> Just come back. Come back. We can kill that Dark Chocobo if you want to come back right now. <sighs> well, Shima has been putting in a lot of work this map. But... Hmm. Oh, god damn it. Why would he run over there? <sighs> He's gonna die. He's gonna screw me over. At the very least, they'll leave him alone for the most part until... The time comes where, oh man, until it comes time for him to snap out though, basically, they're not going to bother him. I'll hit one Angel Song and then switch immediately back. We did get hasted, so we'll be able to do so pretty quickly here. Damage split should keep Dynamite safe if it activates, which it has been. Yeah, reactions are at least playing along today. I'll say that. And I guess Void still has some time before he's going to snap out. Otherwise, they'd be going for him. How does my G do on you? Only 77. That's pretty pathetic. 
I assume he's up next. No, he's not. I should probably get the damage, I want to say. I really feel like that would be in my best interest. Yeah, it would be, because then... Okay. I do this, and now I'm pretty sure that the draw will kill him, because we had good compatibility with him. Do I need to go anywhere? No, I do not. These are all sleeping, and we had good on them anyways. Or did we? No, we actually didn't, but... Bottom line, if I kill the guy... If I kill the Dark Chocobo, we're fine. Essentially. So that's about where we're at right now. Oh, wow, they're actually gonna choke a ball their ally just to wake him up. Huh. I mean, I guess that wasn't a whole lot of damage, so sure, why not, but... That was a pretty strange move. I, I didn't see that coming at all. The AI is so weird sometimes. Oh, because he's gonna get his move, of course. Okay, but he still can't kill my G. Not a chance. Not a chance in hell. Oh, no, don't kill Shima. He can't. Cool. So I'll take the healing? Yes, I will. <laughs> yes! And I need to switch back to Life Song immediately. Now that... Dynamite has enough MP to do some more stuff here. I just move right back here. This, please, please kill the damn Chocobo. Please, please, oh, please kill his ass. Please kill him. In combination with Holy. We need about 120 to do it. We got him. He's done. Holy's gonna drop his ass right now. And I'm really still not afraid of those green Chocobos because, uh, despite the fact that I forgot to give Void Amido, I definitely gave him Earth Glows. Along with everybody else. I almost kind of expect this guy to go after Void. No, he's. I guess he's still gonna be confused for a bit. Okay, this would be a great. A great old time to get auto potion. Okay, well, she's gonna die. But that's okay, we took out the boss. We took out the boss. I can revive her still. I don't think that Quake can miss. Oh, he's gonna go for Ball, which also can't miss. We're definitely not out of the woods yet, but it's certainly looking a lot better than it was a few seconds ago, I'll say that. Now, I just gotta hit you with a life. You're not... Oh, uh, did she just miss her turn or what? I can't see the counter very well. Nope, she's got, uh... She's gonna be okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, she's gonna be fine. So we do, like, one of those. And spread out a little bit just so that I can potentially get some kind of status here and not <laughs> gimp myself. Is that coming in before or after the life? It's actually coming in after life. Honestly, we're just gonna risk it. If I get hit, so be it. I just need her to be up. I just need her to be up, basically. And a life song is coming up next anyway, so... It's fine. I guess Void is just gonna keep throwing crap. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, he's still doing damage, it's just that he would be one-shotting them. I'm so sure. He'd be one-shotting them. But alas. So this right here is the power of life song, though. You'll notice that we didn't have a whole lot of trouble staying alive here at all. <laughs> That's mostly to do with Life Song. And our reactions playing along as well. I mean, let's not get it twisted. That certainly helped. But... Assuming we nail at least one or two of those Chocobos, we should be okay. Because at this point, their status becomes a lot more permanent, since their numbers are already thinned out so much. There's two. We got the Hasted guy, which is best case scenario. And probably Shima, I would imagine. Yeah. This compatibility. Nothing we can really do about that. I'm kind of tempted to switch up to an Angel Song, but... I mean, yeah, I will, and I'll just wait in place. Because Steven is that fast. Jesus, dude. We need the healing, though. We, we without a doubt, need the MP. I should say. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> it was worth it, though. It was worth it. We kept them off our backs for a little bit. And we dropped two of them, essentially. And their positions are such that it's sort of annoying for them to try and clear that because they're going to need to do at least two turns in order to do it. So now, I guess we're just going to see if they decide to or not. Yep, looks like they're going to bring back the yellow Chocobo, but he has missed his turn, I'm fairly sure. And I can just go for four sleeps now. That Angel Song is keeping our MP basically all the way full. And only a few casts. 
Yeah, now we're gonna switch back to Life Song. If Void would like to come back, that'd be great. This guy's probably gonna kill himself with damage split. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. He's actually gonna heal himself because he keeps... He keeps getting lower and lower, slowly but surely. What away! Okay. Attack him at melee, please. Thank you. Use your so Oh my god, I hate this guy. I hate this guy! I was kind of hoping I would get countered just to break the dang old confusion, but I guess not. No! Oh, please, bunch up like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we wanted. He's not gonna get a turn before Dynamite. That's the thing. This Unimos guy, though, will. The thing is, though, they can't use their best ability. Big Choco Quake. It just, it's a bad idea. They can't do it. They'll just heal me. So I think Earth Glows on this fight are far and away some of the best things you could have. I would almost say mandatory, honestly. They're just that good. Uh, if I hit her with a full life, do I have time for a full life? I actually do. I want to say that a life will still preserve her turn, though. Which would be the ideal outcome here. Now you just move over here. And throw out another sleep, too. Yeah. Oh, damn it, though. I keep... <laughs> I keep putting my own guy to sleep. Is there... Can I start killing them or what? <laughs> Honestly. Oh, I guess I could have. I mean, I can kill that guy. Yeah, let's honestly just start killing them. I've had about enough of your crap. But I guess I'll just throw out a life song next. Or, or an angel song, I mean. Because we gotta keep that MP up, obviously. But I am so tired of these clowns being around. I genuinely think that Shima moves right now, though. Mm, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. This guy dies. And I, I guess we're gonna see. It's gonna. I think it was a speed tie between Shima's turn and Steven's turn. That's why I say she may not have missed her turn. Nope, she didn't. Cool. So I did something right for a change. Excellent. So I can kill the red chocobo as well. With a draw out. Yeah, we're looking so good. We're looking so good, guys. We'll stay on the life song just for one round. Heaven's Cloud right there. And th this should basically negate any damage that the green chocobo may do to me. The red will die, without a doubt. And he actually doesn't get his reaction. So now I can finally move on to this awful position she's been standing in for a little bit. Catch this life song. And now she's healthy enough to survive whatever may come her way. Bards are broken. Have I said that or not? <laughs> they're, they're really, really good, by the way. I can't believe how strong that spell is. It's insane, actually. This shouldn't really be too much of an issue. Yeah, my G heals from that. That's why the Earth Glows are so important here, I feel. Because that's really their only AoE. Honestly. And if, you, if they don't have that, then it's a lot harder for them to keep you down. Granted, they have the numbers on their side, clearly. But, all things considered, they're not doing an awful lot of damage in a single hit. So a bard or something like that is very, very good at counteracting their single target damage. Which basically just leaves their AoEs. Because their AoEs are much more difficult to deal with. Despite the fact that bards hit your entire team, I still feel like... You don't want to be taking those chocobo quakes over and over and over again. And also, they can use it to heal themselves as well. What am I going to steal? What if that hits? I'm so confused. What would have happened? Finally! I was kind of hoping that would happen way sooner. But yeah, we broke the confusion. Sweet. Jesus. It sucks because I'm pretty sure the Void just straight up one round. Basically all of these clouds. At this point, though, I'm going to switch to Angel Song for sure. We need the MP back. Regina does. Actually, Regina has a whale whisker. What am I saying? She's fine. Yeah, I'm crazy. And they just they just keep trying this. I say that this is a wrap, though. I, I cannot, for the life of me, see them coming back from this position. I really just can't. Especially now with Void back. I also kind of want to try and haste this dude. Yeah, I definitely will. I'll actually haste him. And if we do that, then he's going to start dropping bodies like it's his job. And honestly, it was his job, so I'm a little bit disappointed in you, Void. I'm not going to lie. 
but hey. Cancer Sagi. Sagittarius. Okay. So I'll drop a holy on this dude over here. Angel Song is going to give me the MP in time for this to work out. And then a good draw should finish him off. Yeah. I think, I assume. And with this haste, Void can then just kill the yellow toggle before he does anything at all. Here comes the Angel Song. Bard is so OP. <laughs> Who thought that this was fair? I thought I was going to be saying that about this map, but no. This map is actually fearing Steven right now, of all things. I said, oh god, not a Bard. <laughs> Please, anything but a Bard and a Sage. The Wombo Combo. This is incredible. This is incredible. Yeah, goodbye. There's that 108 gems boosting our attack to extraordinary levels. I kind of wish I had two air knives, though. That would be better, obviously. We already broke one Heaven's Cloud. I'd really rather not lose all of them. They're kind of expensive. That's the one thing about Samurai. Is that if their uh, if their draw swords happen to break, then it's kind of bad. Because despite the fact that there's about a billion and a half propositions that you can do pretty freely... You still don't want to spend all your money on that. I like to have, like, somewhere between three to five of them at a time, just in the off chance that they decide to break on you like that. Because the last thing you want is for the one spell you needed to beat the map to become unavailable halfway through the battle or something like that. So it, it's good to come prepared when you're using Samurai. I think it's just, like, a flat 10 or 20% chance for it to break. I can't remember the exact number, but it, I'm pretty sure it's a flat rate. It's not, like, brave-based or anything. It's just... Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I'm trying to position myself to not kill myself with this next draw, but I guess it really just doesn't matter, does it? Because this plus Void is dead. Void alone might be able to do it, honestly. He's pretty good. He's so strong. He's so strong, yo. Yeah, look at that. Goodbye. Map clear. And it ends on a crit as well. Yeah, actually, that fight's not as hard as I thought it was. Like, not even close. Like, really? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Maybe I was more prepared for it than I thought. Maybe I had a better idea than I thought, but I actually don't think that that was bad at all. I know it certainly can be much worse, but I think that the big thing is kill the dang old Dark Chocobo, because he has... I, I forget what the skill is called. If you know what it is, post it up, please, because I know there's at least one other boss that has it. But he can basically revive everybody at once, and I don't believe that it can miss either. Uh, that didn't happen, though, so... <laughs> Yes, take that 1.3. I'm learning. Anyhow, with that out of the way, well, I can't believe how well that went, dude. This this fight right there stonewalled me so hard the first time I played this. I promise you. I promise you. I have no doubt that some, if some of you guys want to share your experiences with this map, I'm sure it was a lot worse than that. But, <laughs> yes. Anyways. For the time being, that is going to do it for me, so thank you for watching. Next time, we are going to move on to Zeltenia Castle and actually get some story. Like, don't get me wrong, there's some story in Act 4. It's just a lot more spread out than it has been previously. Where, where stuff was happening like, boom, boom, every other map, something would happen. It is a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. It's like a 25-year-old game. How can I complain at this point? <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, like the video if you did. Let me know your thoughts as well, and I will catch you all in the next one. See you then. Peace.